Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Tucker Carson and uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. had an interview together, and uh, I uh, will play about uh, maybe 30 seconds, uh, a little video clip from the whole thing, where uh, Robert F. Kennedy talks about the 2014 um, uprising in Ukraine, you know, the one that overthrew um, Viktor Yanukovych, the democratically elected uh, president, corrupt as he was, uh, they should solve that problem over there. Um, so that those uh, protests, mass protests, according to Robert F. Kennedy, which I knew, but I couldn't uh, just, uh, you know, if I say it is one thing, if Robert F. Kennedy says it, obviously it's a different thing. And those are financed and supported by someone else from outside. Robert F. Kennedy will tell us who was involved or some information of who was involved and who financed with money those protests. Uh, this uh, is an, uh, an interview that is, uh, what, one hour and 20 minutes, but I will play, as I said, maybe 30, 30 seconds, see if I can uh, just use this part. So I got it, it's a minute, what, 20, 36 is gonna tell us about those, uh, uh, how do you call them, um, protests in Ukraine? The, um, the Biden, you know, was, as, well, first of all, in 2014, to go through the modern history, 2014, there are riots in, it's called the Madonna Rebell Rebellion My in nine. Ukraine, which we're not told that we are fi financing those riots. The, the newspapers never told us, our government... Did you hear? Told us. The yeah. newspaper did not tell us the government didn't tell us that we were funding those. In 2014, to go through the modern history, 2014, there are riots in, it's called the Madonna Rebell Rebellion in Ukraine, which we're not told that we are financing those riots. The, the newspapers never told us, our government never told us. USAID, which is a CIA front, put five billion dollars into funding those riots five billion and those riots lead to the uh to a coup d'etat against the first elected democratically elected government of the ukraine it was a government that refused to choose sides and to say we're going to be on the side of the west so we wanted them out a month before that government is overthrown victoria newland who's you know the part of the, the, the centerpiece of the econ ideology and who is now a high-level official in the State Department has a secret call with the U.S. ambassador, which is tape-recorded and is now public, which anybody can... Go. I've been telling you about this for a long time, but hey... Look up, where she is picking the new cabinet for the Ukraine, which, for Ukraine, which is... Uh, you know, which is a U.S. Western cabinet. So they're picking the new government a month before the old government is overthrown. Is that how democracy, is that democracy when <laughs> Tory Newland picks her government? <laughs> well, that's, that's the, the point is USAID doesn't really do, and the CIA don't do democracy. You know, the CIA has overthrown, I think, 83 governments between 1947 and 1997. That's a third of the governments on earth, and most of them were democracies. Oh, it doesn't do, it doesn't do democracy, it does good, it does. So then, you know, to put the rest of this history, and we put in a U.S., a Western government, the Russian, everybody says, well, the Russians started this by invading Crimea. But put yourself in Putin's position, and I'm not an apologist. All right, well, this is, uh, stop to this, it's very revealing. Now, uh, let's be uh, straight, it doesn't mean that, if Robert F. Kennedy says, uh, you know, the sky is, uh, I don't know, uh, yellow, the sky is yellow. You know, you have to look at it, you have to analyze it and figure out yourself if it's yellow or not. So I'm not here um, putting a uh, honor medal of uh, genius that, hey, I told you that. See, Robert F. Kennedy says it himself. Well, like what? He's the pinnacle or the absolute truth? No, but these things are well known. Who doesn't know them is either don't want to know it or simply, you know, didn't look deep enough. And it's not it really you're two clicks away. You take two clicks away. So the point is uh, that he makes and the whole I, I, I watched the whole um, interview. Uh, he says he being uh, Robert F. Kennedy says certain things that 
a lot of people know it. The mass media do, uh, do not promote those kinds of evidence, facts, uh, or ideas for obvious reasons, which again tells us that it's them against us. Now, I would like to know the truth, whatever the truth is. I don't care if it's uh, something that will affect me or not affect me, I want to know the truth. If without knowing the truth, or at least what's going on, you know, closer to how much I'm allowed to know. I would like to know everything. Obviously, I can't. But uh, like this, these guys are against me knowing something, and then they ask for my vote and uh, my support to find and something that I don't know anything, or, I, or the truth is hidden by the same guys. This is what's going on. These guys give us a narrative, and then they ask for our support of the narrative. But the narrative is very incomplete. And a lot of truths are just and information just, you know, pushed to the side. Now, this guy comes out and there's many others that have influence. Many other people who are wealthy, important people, very well positioned, but they don't speak up or out. Anyway, my friends, uh, he's, he talks here about, uh, also in this interview, about um, how, in his assessment, how the how we got to Ukraine war uh, or the war between NATO and uh, Russia and he's telling the other side I would say completes the narrative or at least adjusts the narrative from uh, that all bad to well it's not quite like that maybe there's some guilt on this side too you know and uh, nevertheless this is the reason why I like to a certain extent Robert F Kennedy and uh, he knows a few things. I don't think that uh, Viktor Yanukovych was the first democratically elected president of Ukraine. And, but I think in 2000, uh, 2000, uh, 2010 or something. So I, I don't, I know there were some others before. I don't know the ups and downs for those uh, elections, how they were conducted. I know it was a problem in 2014 when the Supreme Court came in about some uh, irregularities. Irre Regularities, but nevertheless, he says all and uh, nothing many times, which I disagree with. Uh, you always, uh, always see, I uh, make the same mistake. Always leave a little door if you're not 100% certain. Um, so anyway, very good to uh, uh, listen to this guy, and this is from Twitter. Uh, I don't know if they would allow him to speak in uh, CNN, something like this, without interrupting him and. Uh, checking him with their narrative because now they use their created narrative as being the fact and anything that deviates from that fact that is not a fact as a narrative uh, you know uh, uh, spoken too many times becomes reality you know then they they compare each and every other statement to that narrative as that's the truth and it's not the truth it's a narrative so if you come and say, wait a second, it was like this, uh, say, no, 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 let, let's fact check it with this narrative. That, that is not the narrative, you don't own the narrative. The narrative is completed with information, with more information, with knowledge. That's how you create a, a, whatever happened. So this kind of conversation not allowed in certain uh, mainstream media, let's put it this way. So this is it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.